Hello YouTube and fellow modders and hackers of the Android community. It's DSQB here. Um, and I am showing off the Honeycomb port for my G tablet. There you have it. Honeycomb 3.0.1. Not to get confused with 3.1 which hasn't been released yet which will give you the ability to stretch widgets. Um, however, um, this is very good candy to be eating right now. So I'll just do a quick overview so you guys get an idea of what the uh, functionality of Honeycomb on the G tablet is. Um, there's the app drawer. Uh, as you can see it's been totally revamped. Um, has the My Apps uh, tab right there. So whatever you download, um, if you guys are familiar with the uh, HTC Sense 3.0 ROM um, for the MyTouch 4G um, you'll notice that it also has a downloaded apps tab so this comes standard with Android 3.0 and above anyway oh one more thing let me go back as you can see it has its own file manager which it works pretty good so there's no need if you are on honeycomb there's no need to actually download a file manager anymore as this has full read and write capabilities moving and all that other stuff so there you have it i'm not going to be able to show off uh... apps that require data right now because i don't have um... very good wi-fi signal here in iraq but this should be enough eye candy for you guys. So we'll go to the music app because that doesn't need data to run. And there you have it. You can scroll straight through. And if it doesn't have album cover, it looks pretty homo like that. But anyway, once I get a data connection, it will actually download the album art for the albums. Might require a little bit of tag editing, but hey, do some work if you want to have the best stuff. So we'll go ahead and go to albums and there is the layout of albums. Um, I have quite a bit of music so it's actually going to take a while it's actually going to take a while to um, load up but as you can see I have quite a bit of music. You scroll to the right and it alphabetizes all your albums so on and so forth, uh, songs and artists alike, it will alphabetize them. So there you have it. Uh, we'll go with this, this one right here. And we'll play that one. And there you have it. That's the music app in action. Alright, we'll back out. Actually, you can add uh, the new notification bar. Of course, if anybody watched Google I.O. Um, on YouTube, you'll see how they demonstrated the notifications and recent apps tab. So you uh, press this little, this little button right here. It'll bring up all your recent apps from whatever application you're running, wherever you are in your tablet. All right, we'll back out of there. And I'm going to try and add a widget. And there you have it. That's how you add widgets. The more applications you have, the more widgets you'll have available. And once you get the 3.1 upgrade, you'll be able to stretch whatever widgets. So let's go ahead and put the bookmarks widget right there. And go to that page. And there you have it. Scrollable by nativity. All right. Um, I have way too many photos and videos to open up my gallery, so I'm not going to do that. Maybe in another video. Um, so there you have it. There's Android 3.0 on ViewSonic G Tablet. They said it couldn't be done, but there it is. All right, if you look down here to the bottom right hand of the screen, this is your shortcuts to everything, pretty much. You want Wi-Fi? Click on that, and there you have it. You can click on whatever settings, or if you want to go to overall settings, just go right there. And there you have it, the new settings menu. Looks pretty uh, pretty ba, BA. Um, we'll go with about tablet. And as you can see, Android version 3.0.1, bottle of smoke. That's the ROM name for anybody wondering what port this is. It's actually 
Notion Inc. Adams port, but there's a lot of compatibility between the two uh, devices and their framework, so it was easily ported to the G tablet and the Advent Vega. Um, let's see, is there anything I'm missing? If it is, I'm sorry. Uh, this, like I said, is just an overview. I haven't really had a chance to play around with it in depth uh, because I don't have a data connection as of right now. But once I do, I will definitely post another video. Um, so there you have it. Uh, subscribe, pass the message on to all your buddies who are thinking about getting a cheap, affordable, but great tablet with... Uh, you know, customizability. I, I'd say the G tablet is the way to go. Um, I'm a little bit perturbed right now because I actually um, broke my charge port, so I have to get a new charging pin uh, soldered into the board on the inside, which shouldn't cost too much. Beats uh, having to buy a new tablet. But anyway, there you have it Honeycomb 3.0 on ViewSonic G Tab. Support the troops.